I'm a, I'm a fat boss. I'm a fat boss. I'm this episode of the PhD show is brought to you by My Body Health and Fitness. Now, when you go to mybody.ca and type in the promo code PhD, all caps, you get 15% off of all of their services. So go to mybody.ca and get the motherfucking ass you want today. <laughs> Joining me today is a fucking kick ass owner of my body, Emma Tunley, and my personal trainer. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I thought that maybe we could talk about all the shit that we talk about when you're kicking I my know. ass. I know, like we just talk so freely all the time, I right? I know, I feel like you know my soul. Oh, do I? <laughs> <laughs> I might know most of Etobicoke's soul. I think so, I think so. All the dirty, you know dark all secrets. the drama. Right? Yeah, I know. Uh-oh, uh, watch out. No drama, all good. <laughs> So you, um, so you own my body. I do. Yeah. You're partners with Allison, my sister, and I own uh, my body, and uh, we opened it together uh, about f- almost five years ago now. Um, we had always referred clients back and forth, and uh, we decided to join forces officially and open up a studio where we could collaborate with. Um, Holistic fitness professionals, sorry, not necessarily fitness, but holistic health professionals of all yeah. kind. For yeah, she does the um, wellness yeah. aspect of my body, she, which is really nice. Yeah, so we combine therapy and fitness because they do work well together, right? Um, we need to take care of our bodies. We need to keep our bodies strong. But we also need to think about things like acupuncture and healing. osteopathy, healing in, in all areas, yeah. right? We think of it as preventative health care. And yoga. And yoga. Yeah, I'm, and meditation. I have, I have to say that, yeah. um, what, what is her name again? Marina's Iyengar Yoga. Holy, holy shit. She, it's incredible. She is, I love her because... She's so... I can't... She's cute because she's just... She will... She's scary. She's militant. <laughs> I have to tell you that I don't get scared by people. No. But she's just... You know, Marina wants to achieve perfection. Oh, she does. In herself, and she wants the best for her clients, too. Yeah. So, yeah, she's like... She'll really push you to, to like, achieve your best. But she's also very sweet. She works with... I don't want to scare people away oh, because no, no, she... Oh, I to scare people. Yeah. No, 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 I just meant that in such a cute and lovely she is. way. She is. And she's hilarious. And she's just, yeah. she's just direct yeah. in her approach, which I love. Yeah. Because I'm very direct. Yeah. And I appreciate that. Well, in yoga, I mean, she's super therapeutic in the yoga that she offers as well because I think one of... A, one of um, an area in yoga that people kind of... Um, suffer in is strength right so Mm. people really and especially the flow like the more vinyasa style poses everybody really pushes themselves in an athletic kind of in an athletic way um and the western world has sort of yeah it's great too though fantastic workout i love all kinds of yoga but But i wouldn't say that that's yoga yeah but it pushes you to go deep into poses that sometimes you're not strong enough to do yes. right so what a yangar allows is it uses a lot of props to support the body um so that you can move safely in those poses and actually get the most out of them um so i really credit Iyengar yoga for keeping me able to run and work out and train as hard as i do every week right i don't i have to i have to do one class a week to sort of give my body open a up. reset yeah, yeah i love it open up those hips yeah so i can be a badass everywhere else yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then there are some people who say i need to come to your classes so that i can be strong enough to do marina's classes yeah. so it goes full circle right mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. great yeah definitely and one thing that you've been helping me with um besides getting in shape and um but it's, you've been doing such an awesome job though you should like give yourself a little pat on the back way to go yeah i yeah i don't do that <laughs> <laughs> i'm not good at the whole pat on the no, back no you but, should yeah. i know not enough people yeah, are but no, do it no. like way to go you've thank been awesome you. yeah. you've been well, awesome thank you for because yeah. you know what I, honestly i just every morning when i when i come and see you at fucking before the sun comes <laughs> up i the entire process yeah is, I don't fucking want to go. Yeah. I don't fucking want to do this. I'm not going to do yeah, this. Yeah, you know what the best thing about the thing. morning is? Is you do it before you have time to talk yourself out yes. of it. <laughs> I just put on the just shit. Go. And I go to my body. And I'm yes. like, Emma, I'm all yours. Yeah. I'll do whatever you tell me to yeah. do. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, and you throw down hard. I just do whatever you tell me to do, girl. Good. Yeah. <laughs> but I wanted to say what you have helped me with is um, nutrition. Yeah. 
definitely. Um, so I was doing this keto thing. I was shooting a music video um, up in Huntsville. And so I was doing this keto thing. Um, and I, I, I think I went a little too much with it. And I fucked up my gallbladder. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so high I, fats, high, right? High fats. Yeah. So much high fats. Yeah. And for an entire, like, two months, I was throwing up everything. Yeah. And and then you took me to this nutritionist and helped me with the probiotics. and. Yeah. They have helped the intensity. Good. Ones, yeah. Yeah. I but mean, I'm done them. Yes. And now you want me to pop some bullshit. <laughs> Like literally, literally <laughs> pop some bullshit. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So we want to get you to take, um, I think it's ox bile, right? Ox so that bile. we can, yeah, so that you can properly digest uh, the fats that you're consuming, um, giving your gallbladder a bit of a rest period. That's yeah. what we're trying to achieve is to give you, because your gallbladder is still functioning. So you're lucky and you want to keep it functioning as long as you can, right? So you just want to give it a period of rest so that, yeah. so that it can, it's like exactly. anything else that's injured in your body, right? Yeah. Give it a period of rest so that it can heal and function better. Yeah. That's yeah. what we're trying but to see. Achieve. So my mother had her gallbladder taken out. Right. And I was reading that, um, so women have a higher chance of yeah. having a fucked up gallbladder. And then you have an even higher chance if your mother has it. So yeah. uh, I don't want to get my gallbladder out because I kind of like to keep my, my body parts, even if they say that. There's well, no the thing is, it. is you can function without your gallbladder, but you're not functioning optimally, right? So y you, you'll be secreting bile at a constant rate as opposed to like your gut triggering your brain, triggering your gall gallbladder to, yeah. to release the bile that you need. I mean, while you consume food. So yes, you want to you wanna definitely keep your gallbladder if you can. There are ways to manage it if you can't because some people just can't and that's okay too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I just, because I've heard, well, with my mother taking her gallbladder out, the doctors say, oh, you don't need it. But and you in don't. my mind, yeah. I think, maybe they just don't know. Probably that, that too. <laughs> and what if... Um, yeah, what if in like 20 years they're like, oh, you know what? Like tonsils. You know what? You should probably keep the gallbladder. Yeah. Well, if we're sort of born with these organs in our body, they have a purpose, right? Well, I would think so. I mean, if you look at the the human anatomy, it's everything is there for a purpose. Everything is there yeah. for a reason. No, so, but the doctor's correct. Like, I'm not going to argue with the doctor saying, I mean, you can, I'm going to argue with you the doctor. Can, I know <laughs> you can function without a gallbladder. You can live a healthy life without a gallbladder. And especially in speaking to people who have had their gallbladders removed, I don't want to cause any anxiety or fear in them, right? Yes, you can function and have oh, a yeah, whole yeah, healthy not life. Die. I'm yeah. not saying that. <laughs> but that's what the doctor's saying. You don't technically need it um, to survive, right? Mm. But without a gallbladder, is your body functioning as well? Are you going to possibly be deficient in things? Are you possibly not going to be digesting properly? I mean, it can lead to a whole slew of problems, with tr which trickles, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I don't want to say anything specific can come out of it um, and misinform, but, you know, it could manifest in your body in many other ways in 20 years, correct? So, like, so mm -hmm. that's, that's one way of looking at it. No, you don't need it to function, but it's going to help you be a badass for a long period of time. Yeah, and that's what we want. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's why we do this every single day, right? <laughs> yeah. I remember when I started running with you. Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, my goodness. Old man shuffle. Old man shuffle is what I did. Yeah. And you would just run, come back. Well, and speaking check on of me. badass, I would always say, like, why do I run? And if there's ever a zombie apocalypse, I'm going to fucking live. No, definitely. <laughs> I'm going to get out of there. No, seriously. <laughs> and I was, I was actually thinking about this um, the other day when I was running that about um, learning to defend myself and how I don't I don't know how to defend myself you know if I was yeah. to be attacked I don't know how to defend myself but I do know how to fucking run yeah and running has literally saved my my life before well I would say it's probably your best defense right uh, yes yes definitely I I outran that motherfucker yeah. and 
Yeah. So, and I think even it's if a big I, deal too. Like, good for you. Yeah, but I think that I think everybody should be able to defend themselves. But in reality, I I know that I'm strong. But even with a mediocre male, yeah, I think he could kick my fucking ass. Yeah. So if I have speed on him, and he couldn't get mine. <laughs> Anybody good at all. I don't, I don't think anybody could talk. You're scary. I'm not scary. No, you're sweet. <laughs> you're sweet unless I, I don't finish a rap. Yeah. <laughs> like, Again. Do it. Yes, you can. <laughs> no, I can't. Yes, you can. Yeah, so I've been doing, trying this um, not so much meat. Right. That's I think right. the last time you were here, I, we were talking about uh, ketosis and... Definitely. And um, a vegan keto, where you get your fats from plant-based. Well, and, okay, and so there's that great documentary right now on Netflix called The Game Changer well, that you every... You me to watch it. I've not yeah, watched it because watch I it. cannot stay away. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, no, it's a great, it's, it's a great documentary, and it's making everybody I know want to become vegan. Um, I do eat meat, um, so, and I don't intend to stop at any point in the near future. Um, however, I eat way more vegetables than I do meat. And I know the importance of plant-based eating. Um, and I'm a big believer in it. Um, and like keto's great. And there's a lot of great, um, like the keto diet to follow. It works really well for some people. And a lot of people have a lot of success with it. Um, but oftentimes people can take these diets and, you know, they may not be getting the best sources of fat. Yeah. 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 And like, a lot of the fats come from cheeses and bacons and you know yeah, exactly. <laughs> saturated fats yeah. that you know collectively are not necessarily like the healthiest choices right um, just because it clean gives and... you permission to eat them doesn't mean you should all the time yeah with anything yeah yeah chocolate oh chocolate. yeah nutella I, I... <laughs> but yeah no i think it really it, for every indiv- every individual is different. And yeah, I think eating for your body. Definitely. So like listening to your body. Definitely. If like right now I'm fucking dehydrated, where yeah. my lips are hurting, that's one of the signs where I'm dehydrated <laughs> and I'm breaking out. Yeah. Another sign that I'm Drink dehydrated. Water. Yeah, and I just. Listen to your body. Okay. I'm drinking <laughs> water before you kick my ass. Yeah, drink water. Um. Yeah, well, and I, I think that it's really important for people to learn how to get more of their nutrients from plant-based food, right? And so we're actually going to be doing um, a plant-based meal plan three weeks, eat like ve- a vegan, a full plant-based diet for three weeks and see how it goes. So we'll be doing full meal plans. We'll be doing like a meal pe- prep schedule, um, grocery list um and we'll even go as far as kind of explaining some of the foods that you think like what is arrowroot root powder what is you know what is uh tempeh or what is you know what does this do right so we'll we'll kind of answer some of those questions that people have surrounding a lot of plant-based food and eating so that'll be in january so stay tuned okay. check out our website we'll be posting a lot of well i mean i practically fucking yeah at i wasn't really talking body. to you i was talking okay. to you <laughs> yeah Um. (laughs) but yes for you too and especially for you too i think that like you know if meat doesn't really work for you if it's not oh no i see the thing is i love meat and again it's finding that balance and listening to your body right so i may not eat meat the majority of the time but i still eat meat Mm -hmm. and there are moments where i i feel like chicken i want so i will cook chicken but it all has to be clean i can't do it in yeah well that's the other side of it too like i really do eat good quality you know yes it's very expensive but i'm not eating a big giant hunk of steak right like i'm eating a small portion of like grass-fed free-range organic like chicken or anything right um and why wouldn't you want to put that into your body? Yeah, well, and also I love animals. Um, and the, yeah, I mean, we can go on. Oh my goodness. And on, that's but other yeah, one. let's not go there today. But I just like to know that I I support ethically sourced food. And uh, to me, that's really important, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, and and clothes too. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know this company, Noise? It's a vegan. Oh no. Yeah, they make uh, vegan outerwear. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Oh my god, can I tell you something off camera? Yeah, but we're on camera. I know, but you, can you edit it out? Uh, I don't want to. Just ah, tell shit. me that. Okay, well, I, I'm selling my Canada Goose jacket for that same reason. I got okay. it secondhand. Um, I want to find... I know, I've been so going back and... So I have two Canada Goose jackets. Yeah, and I got it secondhand. And back and forth on well, it. I had a client who lost a lot of weight and she was like a much petiter she was much smaller than me mm. when she lost a lot of weight like I was taller and bigger so she had this brand new Canada Goose Jack and she said do you want it and I bought it off her so it was a steal but yeah. but I want to go I, I feel guilty wearing it so I never wear I it I do too yeah for many many reasons I love coyotes I see them running all the time yeah and but see, okay, so I'm ignorant with Canada goose and how they kill their animals. Yeah. I, I hear one way, yeah. and I hear another way. I know. And I just don't want to wear their fur. Yeah. Because I still don't know the whole story really either. I don't. But yeah, I just don't want to wear their fur. Um, but yeah, no, I like this. I'm gonna look into this noise company because I'm actually looking into a new, yeah. like, a new winter coat that no, is. and they are fucking warm. Vegan. Oh, they're. Cool. I actually think they're warmer than Canada Goose. Are they like 750 bucks? No. Sweet. <laughs> okay. Or maybe. Yeah, probably. Well, they're not 1,200. Oh, yeah. Okay? Fair. Not, fair. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I spend the money on, like I said, ethically sourced stuff, right? Like, yeah. now I feel even though it is secondhand, I feel like a bit of a hypocrite wearing it. I don't judge anybody else for it like mm. so you why know. do you feel like a hypocrite because i because it because it, of what you eat because of what i value okay. no because of my love of of, of the treatment of animals yeah. and like i know that anytime you mass produce something they need to cut corners to make yeah. it you know yeah. cost yeah. effective Absolutely. so yeah. i mean like i said and like you said i'm not a hundred percent sure of the practices i just have heard enough yeah rumbling that I don't really want to sport it right so yeah. yeah I just I'm ignorant in that department yeah. so I should probably know more about it yeah you know, yeah if you're gonna wear something definitely yep or eat something yeah I just feel like I always have to apologize when I'm wearing it <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't buy this brand new <laughs> I got this second hand <laughs> to like everybody yeah, on the bus definitely get a new coat. <laughs> It's warm though. If anybody wants it, it. Is, yeah. <laughs> cranberry. It's but really yeah, good. no noises. I think it's warmer than Canada. Goose. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. And I'm really gonna good. look into that. No, I'm gonna look into that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely important to take care of your body and feed it with high quality fuel. Yeah. Because food is what powers you, right? And what carries you through your long life. And uh, just like a gallbladder functioning, you want everything in your body functioning optimally, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got to feed it yeah. the good fuel. And you guys make these amazing smoothies. We do, yes. Mm, I yes. always look forward to this. Yeah, we do, we do. We make, uh, we make smoothies fresh in-house. So we do various antioxidant, green. We do great uh, beet shots. We juice the beets for... Um, for the cardio efficiency, proving your cardio. We have, what else? We've got some post-workout protein smoothies that are all plant-based and without protein yeah, powder. Yeah, I have one of those right Yeah, now. yeah, it's good. You have one now? No, I said I could have oh, one. Oh, I should I have brought you one. What? Yeah, Emma. <laughs> what the fuck, Emma? I know. What is they now thinking? I'm to drive for five minutes. <laughs> I'll give me one tomorrow. Uh, oh, I was gonna say something and now I forgot. Um, had to do with working out yeah. this was for me right I see. one of them was for you <laughs> okay. the one that you gave me was for you but thank you for the water but i need more coffee mm. yeah you also need more water yeah you need more water yeah sure, sure. i'm gonna ask you something about my body like your body no your body you're my body <laughs> my, my body <laughs> Do you know what? Every time I talk about my body, yeah, people yeah, say yeah, that. Right, right. Your body. Well, I you, know. You yeah. own your body? Yeah. Yes, what? I do. You are the manager of your body. Fuck yeah. yeah. Everybody should be. I think so, too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but you're... Um, oh, yeah. I wanted to say about... The thing that I love about my body... Um, one of the many? One of the many. Other than this beautiful oh. gorgeous goddess sitting in front of me. <laughs> um, is... Okay, so I'm gonna be like fucking 
real while I'm always fucking. Like, I hate Whoa. gyms. <laughs> yeah. I fucking hate gyms. Yeah. I like to be active outside. Yeah. So if you want to go hiking, if you want to fucking yeah. do, do rock climbing, I'm all for that. Yeah. I hate gyms. But the thing that I love and the only... And the thing that I love about my body is that it is so anti-gym. Yeah. Where it's your sister and it's your mom and your mom is so yeah. cute. I know. She's ad- adorable. And it's not... Hi, I mean, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Felt like I had to there. <laughs> yeah, shout out to moms. Yeah. Um, but I feel... Because every time I have been to a gym, yeah. um, and there's a lot over on Lakeshore, every yeah. time I've been to one... It's it's all about the money. Yeah. It's, it's so fucking cold. And yeah. I feel like I have more of a chance of getting injured. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the thing with a gym is they've got all this really great equipment. And I love, like, I love being the only one in a gym and having the freedom to do a workout. I love a gym. But I'm with you. I don't really like going to the gym where, like, there's a lot of strange, grunty people hogging equipment. And it's not comfortable. And, yeah, I mean, the other thing is when you think of how the gym is marketed i mean they sell memberships knowing that they're selling way too much too many um too many memberships for their for the to use their space so they're basically selling knowing that majority of these people are not going to come on a regular basis right Right. yeah um with the expectation of of failure yeah because the majority of people give up yeah, and I think I didn't like I've worked at a lot of gyms and I didn't like that side of gyms. I didn't like just you know being super sales focused. I remember when I worked at a lot of gyms, um I was graded more on my ability to sell memberships and to sell packages than I was on my my abilities as a personal trainer, which never made a lot of sense to me. Um and I never did well because of it. Um but I want to make sure that when people walk through our doors, that they have every tool that they can have to be successful. Um, we take the work out of planning the programs, right? So you come to us and it's essentially like in the classes, which I call group training. It's just like working one-on-one with a personal trainer, but you're in a group setting, right? The mm. I think of the programs that I design every single day based on who walks through my front door, right? And I look at the class and I'll often change my mind as soon as I see the people in the room. Mm -hmm. I know what they need, right? So I can like really customize it to them. Um, I think that's what a lot of places lack. That's what we have. Yeah, that... um... Customization, personalization. And like, we really want you to be successful. Like I want each and every one of my clients to, to... get the results results that they came to get right mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. yeah uh, yeah i feel like it's a family there it is a family yeah, yeah like clients included right yeah. and then too if there's something else like everybody has different requirements and needs some you know some people have different areas of their body that aren't firing or functioning properly you know and then you can work with one of our therapists our physios our osteopaths our massage therapists to help you stay functioning yeah Right. Yeah, yeah. Because I saw one of your um, massage therapists um, when you I see? threw my back out. Yeah. Who'd well, you... no, it was funny because I booked him, and then I threw my back out. So mm. I, I booked him to work on my right side, mm. and then I threw out my left side. Mm. And he's great, eh? Yeah. 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 He's like a big teddy bear. I know. His name is Tim. And if you want to come and see Tim at my body, he's wonderful. But so are all of the RMTs, um, the massage therapists, our osteopath. Like, we only hire people who we think are incredibly talented and skilled at what they do. Yeah, because you want people to come back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I also, like, I expect high quality, right? Yeah. And and yeah, yeah, same with me. I expect yeah. high quality, which is why I like you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, I have no patience for people. No, we have, we really do have like the best of the best there. And I'm, I really love our team, like every single one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody there is. <clears throat> yeah. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to keep working with you okay. in, through the winter. Let's do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, I've got my. We made a goal, um, right? Is it Sakoni, Sakoni. Sakoni. Or Sakoni. I, I, I might be saying it all Sakoni, wrong. Too. Sakoni, I, I say Sakoni. Sakoni? Okay. Yeah. I, <clears throat> I've heard Sakoni. My 12 year old who's going to kill me said Sasani, which I thought was really cute. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, well, the fact that I'm able to read that at all is great. I know. So <laughs> no, I love those shoes. I love running in them. It's like yeah. Well, I got those, running on clouds. Um, ice. Those yeah. Do you have them here? No. I oh, I haven't even seen those okay, before. Okay. Well, for the Santa run. Okay. Uh, Yay! Yeah, I can't yeah, wait Yeah, that's the another one. The Santa run is yeah. going to be super I've got to fun. register for that. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm so... You know what? For every single run I've done, yeah. I have registered the day before. Okay, I'm going to get on your ass this yeah. week, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I need to get this shit ordered. <laughs> um, hopefully it's warm. Yeah, I'm well, you know what? Or... Regardless, we train for this, right? We train in the rain, in the snow, and uh, everything. Oh, so. I love running in the rain yeah. and the snow. Yeah, me too. That's, that's fun. I'm going to do the, the 10K. Yes, you are. Where is the so the route is going to be? We're going to run. Um, I yeah, we're going to run along the lake shore. So if you go from my body all along the lake shore down Norris onto the path, um, you would turn around. I guess it would be at the bottom of Mimico where that little patio is, yeah. where the ducks feed where there. We, where we would stop. And yeah, that out. yeah, where just pass out. Just past that, there will be signs up um and then if you wanted to do the 10k we run all the way to the humber bay bridge and back to the studio so it's going to be a really fun event it's on december 7th um the 5k starts at 7 30 the 10k starts at 7 a.m no so i was telling my mom about yeah. it and i because i saw the walk yeah i said you can do the walk yeah and and then she, she was all excited about that and then i told her the time and she was like Oh, yeah <laughs> yeah well unfortunately we have to do it at that time because later on yeah, there's going to be a parade, parade so yeah. yeah i mean it's one day see that for me just wake late. up <laughs> it's see, just one day that's late for me yeah yeah eight o'clock i, know. Ooh, I, get to Not, I think 10 o'clock is the uh is the parade parade yeah seven o'clock is the run yeah yeah looking forward to that no it'll be a, it'll be a whole lot of fun yeah, and so we all finish together. You get after. a medal, you get a shirt if you sign up for the package, and uh, yeah, we're doing a free yoga class afterwards, which will start around 20 minutes after 8. We'll have everything all wrapped up by 9 a.m., and the race starts at 10. Yeah. So you'll have enough time to get your car out, <laughs> hopefully. Well, hopefully you, nobody drives to it. Yeah. They yeah. run to it. Well, they'll run once you get there. Well, Emma... Thanks yeah. for coming. Yeah, thanks for having me again. Always fun to chat with you, and I'll see you and do it again tomorrow, right? <laughs> yes, right at early, 6.30 Yes, 6.30 for the class yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, that's nice. Um, yeah, so thanks for coming, girl. Okay, honey. And this Cut. Episode, <laughs> cut. I gotta do this. I gotta do Just your kidding. ad. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Go for it. <laughs> this episode of the PhD show is brought to you by My Body Health and Fitness. Go to mybody.ca and get the motherfucking ass you want today. And to check out more <laughs> videos, go to fallondone.com. Peace, I'm motherfucker. A, I'm a fat boss. I'm a fat boss. I'm a, I'm a fat boss. I'm a fat boss.